OMSCS can cost much more than 8,000. My thoughts of why coming up. Chronos Matrix, focus on what matters most. Visually keep your goals in check and create new goals so you can stay on schedule. Watch your daily, weekly, and monthly results to stay focused. Free time optimization app. So I think the biggest issue that most people don't understand when they're, when they're getting into the program, which I had no idea, it, it was a rather rude awakening for me, but, um, but I'm glad I proceeded with it. I've definitely gained uh, much more than I guess the initial cost would have, uh, of, of, would have included, I guess I could say. Um, most, I, I don't actually prepare scripts as you can probably notice by the you know thread of uh, my logic in most of these videos. So I don't have any like prepared content. I just kind of usually have like the title that you guys are seeing uh, on these videos. So usually if I start rambling, I'm not, trying to i don't i'm not looking at a teleprompter and kind of looking at just one area and you can kind of see my eyes glossing over it's it's <laughs> i usually just have one theme and i try really hard to stick with that theme so anyway a uh, little note here i might cut this off later on i'm not sure but um the main reason why it's not going to cost what you initially think really depends on your background so that's why i wanted to kind of start with that but i'm just saying in in, in general from from my experience to what I've seen a lot of other students having, you're gonna be dropping a lot of classes. And that's what most people aren't aware of, is that uh, you're not here, I'm, I'm gonna be covering that on other videos as well, but you're not really going through this program to learn the way you would in, in an undergrad, right? Uh, um, in your undergrad um, computer science degree, where it's like you're starting completely fresh and you can kind of slowly get into it. Even the courses that they consider easy, they're ramping them up every semester. So if you look at OMS uh, um, Central, or you can, there's a lot of uh, Reddit threads uh, that discuss other classes. All these classes, they, they keep making them harder and harder. And I mean, from a business standpoint, it makes sense, right? It's like, it adds more value to the degree, right? Um, if most people think it's very hard, right? If, if, if people think it's a, it's a cakewalk, how many universities are really easy to get in it's very easy to get your degree and people don't care and they don't really value the uh, the education, right? It's like when something's hard and you really have to sweat it to, to make it through, it usually has much more um, much more value in people's eyes, right? So from a business standpoint, I completely understand why they would want to keep cranking it up, right? It gives more value as far as the, the perception of, of, the, uh, uh, of the university, right? Especially since this is an online um, situation. I mean, attitudes are definitely changing. If this would have been 10 years ago, somebody saying, oh, I got this online degree, there was kind of like a certain stigma. I guess it's also like online dating, right? It's like 10, maybe 15 years ago, it was really weird. It's like, ah, married to somebody that I met online. It just, it sounded strange. And who hasn't met people now online? I mean, it's just such a, a rather typical way uh, um, for people to meet up uh, nowadays. I, I kind of think right now we're like in the middle of that transition where uh, I, I think in the next several years, it's going to be so normal and it, it might be like a 50-50, right? Like 50% uh, of, uh, of people have gotten uh, a degree online. So I kind of, I like the fact that they're making these uh, these courses harder because it also kind of shows it's like, this is not an easy ride. This whole, oh, I'm doing it online so I can check things. The way they crank, uh, crank up these tests um, my database class is just such a good example. It, it's, uh, uh, well, there's a couple of examples I'll, I'll give, but I'll, I want to start with, uh, with uh, databases because it's more fresh. Um, initially, they would allow you to use like the entire book, is what I was told. Um, the semester I took it, it, it was just down to six pages. And within the middle of, 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 uh, of the course, they were thinking of just not allowing any, any notes which I know for a fact means that later on, they're not gonna allow any you know, uh, notes. Now, that's what they were saying. I don't know, I, I would have to check up on um, uh, with other students afterwards. Um, actually, if you're taking that class right now, it's, uh, <laughs> leave some comments below and let me know if they, they've updated that. But um, the amount of material they even go through, it's like six pages, is just, is just not enough for, for the way they, they do these tests. Um, with Kabai, that was another one where it, it's, they used to have a, 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 a curve, a, a kind of, 
not as brutal as some of the other curves in some classes because some, some of these classes like machine learning or reinforcement learning, they're so, so difficult. They're literally meant to just, you know, make a break you, which most people are on the breaking uh, side of things. So then they, they really throw in a curve that most people think that they're failing and then they end up with an A or B. That's, those classes are kind of strange in that way. But Kabai would be, for what, I, uh, for what I've been told by, uh, by students that have taken the course uh, before, and just, I mean, it's very easy. Just go to OMS Essential and then look, look up a couple of years earlier. Check up, you know, reviews from a long time ago and you'll see how different, you know, the, the uh, courses have been evolving. But that's kind of what I've been saying. I've only seen the evolution going from, I had a medium course, I had an easy course, and they just kept ranking it up, uh, um, ranking it up making it more and more difficult, right? So again, from a business standpoint, the more people that drop means that the more people might come back and just take the class again, right? And then the more people that drop and take it several times and okay, now I have a bad grade, so I have to retake it. That's what happened to me in Kabai, right? It's like I was off by just two points, which again, if I would have taken it the semester before, yeah, that was annoying. If I would have taken it just the semester before, that 78 point whatever I got would have been an 80. Right? But since they had just changed that, then I got stuck with a C, which then just ruins your GPA and then makes you have to take the class again if it's, um, if, if it's uh, part of your found, uh, foundational course. It, to the same level, if I would have gotten a D, right, instead of the C, then I couldn't have used it as an elective either. So it's, there's certain uh, things in that nature. And then you have to realize, because of the way their grading works, you're not going to be able to compensate for a really, really bad grade, right? So if you get a D and it just destroys your GPA, you can't take that class again and they just put it on top. And for what I've understood, there's any other uh, uh, um, students from other, from other universities um, outside of America, let me know. But for what I understand, America is one of the few places that uh, universities don't do this. If you take a class, you get a D, you take it again, you get an A, you have an A and a D in your GPA. And again, why does that matter? Like, why would we care, right? Once we're working, we're not really gonna care. Well, because without having the 3.0 uh, um, average, you're not going to graduate. They're not gonna let you graduate. So you could take all these classes, have 11, 12 classes, and you're literally gonna have to sit there and take some easy class that you have no interest in anymore just to get the degree. So that idea that's like, oh, it's like, it's less than 8,000. Yeah, that's if you're a genius in each one of these areas in the 10 classes you're going to take you know the material in and out you don't have to you know hit, hit, hit the ball running it's like you know the content that well because you've already had the 10 20 uh, um, plus years of experience and yes i've met people in that category and even these people they don't have all those years of experience in all these different languages right and every class is going to require something different so uh, a database is, uh, um, has been a really interesting class for me because it's it's Every project I've worked on has dealt with databases. I've, I literally started my programming uh, career uh, learning databases and connecting them with uh, PHP. So I assumed I can do this already. I don't even need a group. I, I had a great team, but it's like, I didn't even need a team to you know, build the final project because it's like, well, I, I, I know how to do this already. So you know, it, it's, it's kind of in the mid range, uh, um, medium level uh, difficulty. I just assume, and I'm going to take this, and this is going to be, you know, a cakewalk, right? Because I know the material now. I know how to do all this stuff in, in uh, MySQL and PHP. It's like, how hard is it going to get, right? And and at the, as soon as I started, when I saw that the 50% of the grade is on the tests, which is just bizarre because shouldn't it be on the work? It's like software development process. There are no tests at all, right? So a lot of classes, they have tests and it's usually 15 or 25% of the grade. That's usually, but this one, it's like cut and dry, kind of like the machine learning course. Now machine learning, I understand there's a lot of theory that's like machine learning is just a different beast altogether and reinforcement learning would be in the same ball game. But for databases, it's really the practical application of what you're learning. And the team project, the entire team project is worth 35 points. Then 10 points is going to be from, um, from what the other students grade you for. So imagine that you're doing this class where you know the content and the, the, these tests are literally, it's like you have to be a linguistics major to understand exactly what they're inferring to. I mean, yes, I am bilingual, but English is still my first language. And it's like, it's, it's the, they're so tricky and how they're doing this test. And of course you're, you're, you're on a, a timed uh, test as well. So that's adding to the stress. And you're looking at them like, what? <laughs> Maybe if you have, the, you have to look at the certain key words and they're rather vague and how they're describing it. And then they'll throw in a not, 
you know, or can, like they'll throw in negation. So it's like what you're looking for is the reverse of that. So whatever the solution is that you, it's like, why would you make this this trick? I mean, of course, well, to make people have to, right? Because uh, uh, um, if you're in computing systems, you have to have a B, you know, or better for that to be, you know, foundational course. So again, some of my teammates are like, well, I'm going to get a C, you know, for sure. So it's like, I'm going to have to take another, this all have to be considered like an elective and then we're going to take something else. That's the problem then, right? Because then it's like, you're going to have to take other courses for your foundational course. Now there's, there's ways around it. But in general, the way they set up the GPA, the way they're cranking up the classes, much uh, uh, the difficulty level, the way they're great, it's like everything they're setting it up to make it harder and harder as you go. That's why I keep mentioning, wow, that looks, look at that. I just lost a, <laughs> really bright today. Um, the way they set these, these uh, uh, um, the entire degree plan up, they're just making it more, more and more difficult. So my recommendation is get the classes. If you know there's easy, uh, a class that's considered easy, or even on the media, just take take those classes as, as soon as you can, because they're just gonna keep cranking it up, which means you're gonna have to either withdraw early or or, or uh, fail the class and have to take it again if you if you need it. And again, time is money. Like when I started, I didn't have a problem. I was thinking, yeah, if it takes me four or five years, I don't care. I have so many projects now that it's like, I really wanna be working on, that it's like, I really feel like I don't have the time. I really don't have the time now to play these little games. So. I really want to finish the degree. I don't like starting something that, that uh, and not finishing it. Um, but maybe I'm just going to have to end with a seven or eight courses, maybe come back to it later. I'm not sure because now, now I'm seeing it's like this is a real waste of time if they're going to be doing this in, in a, a lot of these courses. When the content was great, right? It's like the uh, um, a lot of these classes, the content was good, but by them changing something rather major, um, in that course and just kind of cranking them up, it's, um, it makes it where, do you really feel like you're learning? Is, is it the best way to learn? Cause like with, with, with uh, um, the database course, here's how you could fix that course. Instead of making it 50% of the grade, I think I'm going to do a whole video on, on database, uh, uh, databases. So I won't get too into it, but, um, literally the, the way you're grading the overall course, if that would change, you could get a class that most people just do not like because of the tests, and it could be something enjoyable. The, the content is actually really good. I, I learned quite a bit on databases. It actually did further my knowledge in databases, and I enjoyed it. But the way it was set up, eh, not so much, and I felt the same way about Kabai. It's like these are classes that, in general, they have a lot of good material. Um, but if it's not exactly your focus, it, it's like, why, why would you even want to take it again? I mean, thankfully, I don't have to take uh, uh, databases again, but it's, after that experience with Kabai really got kind of got, you know, threw me off guard where it's like, you can be that close and they'll just make you do it again. And well, you know, well, what, what are we going to do? And then, you know, your A's in other classes now just drop to like B. It's like, it just totally throws off your, your GPA. So then it'll, if, if you do let that GPA go lower, you're not going to be able to graduate anyway. So then you're kind of stuck. So anyway, those are my thoughts at the moment. Um, uh, give me some comments below. I'll let me know if, if you find that helpful or there's other areas of uh, OMSCS that you guys are considering. But in general, that is why I honestly feel, see, I'm going back to that title. <laughs> this is why I feel that that uh, it's not for most of us, for the majority of us that don't have the 20, 30 you know, years experience in all these different um, uh, languages. It's not going to be the you just take 10 classes, you take them one after the other, you get out of there really quick in two years. That's going to be the, the, the very small minority. Now, is it possible and can you? Absolutely, yes. I haven't met anybody who's done that, but I'm pretty sure there's, there's gotta be plenty of people out there, but they'll be too busy, so they're not gonna be watching this video anyway, so you're not gonna hear any comments. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you're, if you're watching some comments, it's either people that uh, are trying to get in or you know that, that said they're struggling with it too, so they're looking for other poor souls that are trying to get through uh, uh, through the system. So anyway, hope it helps. Talk to you in the next one.